Now in the connector, could find the bomb carrier here. It all comes up to timing. He's just having a read on Tafuzi. He doesn't extend all the way to try and grab the kill and actually loses his life for it. It's a 4v4, but he gains info. A very important kill to be answered back. And now you can just see the CT stacking up the A side. Even with that in mind, though, look at some of the entries that are coming through for the NIP squad. Up by one, now getting the smoke down to try and get onto the side. Oh, a secondary kill. A third one, in fact, for the likes of Jax. Can't quite make it a quadra. Hunter's there to try and back him up and regain a man advantage for G2 now. Bomb dropped in the open. And the P250 of Hampus rocking Raid Boss in this round. Not going to rock the clutch play. Gets at least Alexi B. But no more than this one, it seems. And his moves in, knife pulled out, P250 in against him, going to cross out towards default, just try to get that bomb plot in, could be denied, and indeed it is. It's a pistol win for the likes of G2, as they lose many of their players, but ultimately take the round. And just searching for some information, these Glocks can't imagine are going to get too much out of it. Got as a tag for a bit of damage, 59 points of HP for him. In the face for a little bit more. Nico spread it in with the next kill. Does get overwhelmed by the numbers game, so not as easy for G2, but they've maintained a 4 versus 3 scenario. There's a FAMAS to work with now for NIP, but the USP actually lines up too for Mana C, making it a triple. And on for the Quadra against Hampus. That's done about at least one more good frag against the name of the G2 side. Got that bomb again trying to commit it to the side, but the scout headshot's not coming in. He's being flanked anyway. Eventually when it goes down to the bomb site, and look at this gamble stack, it's coming in towards A. Mokes up, flashes over, sprays through for Manasi, trying to catch off some T-side elements. They've also got some backup utility back in the bat lines. 13 seconds, and finally a blind kill comes in, so we do find ourselves at even once again. Nades back, Echo Tag staying alive. Hunter peeks forward, though, gets the kill against the man, and that should be enough to win the round. Manasi didn't need to get the 4K, but he got it anyway. It's 3-0 start for G2. Trying to strike. Meanwhile, Nico working in from the ramp control over towards A. Drops that bomb. As tag caught next. Plopsky can get a responsive. Hampers is now known. He will be removed from play by Alexi B. And the G2 side will fall back to passive positions as players try to continue pressing forward. The AWP of Manasi can't quite land that first shot. Very tight. And he'll hit on a second. Rez gets credited with a couple of kills on the Deagle. And maybe even a bomb plant if he can grab the bomb itself. 40 seconds to play with. And Alexi B to deal with. But they have done damage here on IP. And this M4 getting picked up. Really looking to see if he can engage another fight. Try to draw it onto Alexi, who gets boosted up towards that top of orange position. Alexi just picking in towards mid control again, trying to establish the early defaults on the G2 side. It's Nico that draws first blood, though. Now, there is a quick trade immediately with that AWP, but S Attack does not know about this bait and switch setup. Two players over. Jax has been seen. They don't know about the teammate. And Hunter will find a responsive. Jax barely spotted out by the likes of S Attack. Leaving Hunter exposed on one side of the site. Incendiary coming down, that's going to lead to his demise. Unless Alexi B gets the kill, but he doesn't do so. But calls in the info to Hunter, who makes it a double instead. And turns the whole situation around for G2. Fuzi in the 1v2. Has the bomb on his back. And is pressing up through the stairs, but Nico is on the flank. And he'll hold down the round. What about the quality? Try it yourself, Greg. Okay, okay. It's it's great. We take it all. Now that is pretty enough. Skin Club, the lowest prices. No Molotovs in play for NIP that can drive him away. They've got to hard check this angle. Not even a nade that can do the damage. A flash and a two smokes. Available for the execution here, and now Nico swings, sees one, and two, and three, barely escapes with Hampers' his life, Plopsky there with a decent trade, and now Manasi has all he needs to hold down the A site with backup here and all. A lot of HP for Plopsky though, it'd be nice if he can hand that AK off to Rez, or if they can go back and grab G, uh, the G2 weapon that was dropped by Nico. And that's what they're going to try and aim for, but it will be protected by the CT down to the back of the site. Still the blind spray from Plopsky comes in decent. It's Deagles for Rez. Did go in previous rounds, but not in this one. Monacy locks it out with the AK kill, and it will be a defuse for Jackson. A sixth round for G2. 20 seconds, and NIP have got to make action now. Smokes will come down. Jax will get forced back behind, and the Molotov try to drive an invisible CT away as Hunter gets away with the kill onto S Tag. Alexi's still back over a quad, finally accounted for by Fuse. They almost didn't do so, and Plopsky gets a trade back to a three versus three. The bomb's got to commit and get planted. Hunter trying to see if he can find it in the midst of the smoke, but can't quite manage to do so. And all that distraction pushes Plopsky in an aggressive position, but Nico on the backstab deals with threats. Fuse with a responsive. Plopsky responded by Hunter to a one versus one, but five HP for the man to try and catch the AWP off its AWP battles here. 
Where does he go with this? Fuzi playing careful. AK now back in his hands. And hearing the footsteps of Hunter being made, making noise on the site. Shots ringing out. Can't quite find the man. The Fuse kick to hold the hold of Fuse. To hold the hold of Fuse. It seems like Fuzi forced out. Aggressing. And finally taking his man down. Making it a triple kill. And finally winning the first round for NIP. Now, but he's leaning in towards the B stairs at angle though. It's gonna be a bit of time stored against his name. Plotsky spotted. Burst fire from Hunter. Gets away with a kill. Drops the bomb in the open. And that should call in all the info they need. But still, Jax is rotating via the B site and back in from the standard backline positions of the CT site. Hunter gets a secondary kill though. Essa tag has dropped and Fuzi will sneak in the bomb plant. Yeah, Lexi expecting a wraparound play. Hunter trying to work on the edge of this smoke. More damage coming through and actually dealing with the ore bar. He's hunting them all down, triple to his name, looking for the quadra, and he gets it as well. Oh, and the ace and everything. One rifle's all they need for G2, it's 7-1. Just certainly worked out better for him. First ace of the series, it's coming so early. And again, off the back of two rifles, the info play from Jackson, the dominant play from Hunter, that's one to add to the highlight reel. Yeah, of course it is. And it's another one of those rounds where G2 are fighting back from a 3v5. Was away from spotting that man. The Molotov's back at quad and his attention is in the direction. We'll spot out Jack finally take the spray down. Nico there with a quick tap to respond. The four versus four. And now backup has arrived, but the commitment's yet to come through. It could still come back out towards the A side. Essa tag does get Nico though. That might change the plans. Uh, very clever here for NIP. They're putting pace down over towards B. They're drawing as much of that U2 as possible. And they're sensing misdirection for the European squad to start pulling them around on the map. At least Modesty's here in the footsteps. Aggress to try and challenge onto the world's race. Drop that bomb to him with a second shot against Plopski and drop him to the man advantage, making a triple and all. Doesn't need the quadra. Alexi B gets the final and G2 will hold the eighth. And already the peak's in a little bit late on the smoke, which means that NIP just can't seem to find a trade. They're forced to fall back again and try and play from a different angle, but Jax has the angle at B covered off. Fuzi and Etta Tag now dead. What an insane round. You can start to feel the confidence blooming for the AWP to find that success out to ramp with an opening pick. But the off angle from Jax, two kills up on the B anchor, finally being dealt with, but the advantage still here for G2. We'll try and stall was now it's his turn to solo hold a site but not completely alone. Alexi B closes in the pins as the backstab deals with Raiders, drops that bomb, leaves Plopsky alone to clutch it. 45 seconds to try and do so. Leaning in against Hunter, who reveals his position. Plopsky. Molotov's trying to drive him out in the open, trying to force out a decent kill, will be able to do so. But now we've got to focus on a backstab where both CTs are coming in from now. The bomb's dropped on the lower floor, I think, as well. Doesn't stop the spray. Popsky unawares of where Manus sees at. And patience is a virtue for this young man as he secures another round for G2. Flashing their way up and over towards the B stairs. Alexi B, the incendiaries go down. The SMG tries to peek out against the stairs players and does do a little bit of damage. Take a lot more back in return. Jax has got to try bailing out, get his kill. Look for a double up, not quite a triple. The Fuzi and Esetag are least breaking open the site, but Hunter has other plans. Finally deals with the majority of the forces and once again, it's plops in the clutch. 1v3, looking for damage at this point. Even Hunter aggressing through that smoke. They're playing so much more confidently. I think you really hit the nail on the head there. They're a G2 side that are playing without pressure and they're playing to their ultimate confident form, as you can see with Munasi and Jax combining out of the B site. Three kills, no trades, damage done, sure, but it doesn't feel like Plopsy's going to get the trade back on Munasi. The angle held of the AWP, further incendiaries to stop him from getting to the bomb. There's no way in now. Smokes to suppress any backup rotations. Molotov to drive him forward or back, do some damage, most certainly. Hampus walking outside alley, dealt with by Nico, and yeah, this round going about as well as rounds from G2 should go here. 11-2 now up to the board, and this is a stunning start from the CT side. Jax with the latest, the final kill of the round. NIP's pick has been a shambolic play so far. Raids on to Rez. Pressed by smokes, Nico's hearing those footsteps just against that man player at the end of the smoke. Great kill in, flash support from Hunter, deals with Plopsky. Both AKs dropped 5v3. To break into the B site, trying their hand at recovering some sort of bomb plant at the very least to at least hold the economy state in a decent state for the final round of the half. They do get away with one good pick, but Hunter again, double up of his own accord. Hampus, a decent deagle shot, but Hunter makes it a triple. Teammates maintain their lives, lives for the most part. Leg shot on Fuzi though, 12 points of HP. Alexi continuing to do damage through the smoke. Shots continue to ring out that bomb. He's gonna try and go down in the last few seconds, but the smoke's are gonna clear. The deal can strike, get away with one. Sandwich by on through, switch to the AK and everything. Look for Essa tag, the author, waiting for his chance to strike. The bomb's gotta go down right now. And Alexi going in for the knives. A play to close out the half. A confident half from G2, it's 13-2.
11 rounds to bring back on the CT side as we get to the pistol G2 making their fast moves up towards side alley already hampers with his USP will body block the smoke at least trying to press them a little bit more it's Rez with the duel he's picking up the opener against Manasi wrapping the corner against Nico who does get credit by tag at least for a two for one that bomb being spotted and Plopsky also chimes in now left to two players on the G2 side and finally it looks like NIP are going to catch a break only a few pixels away from being spotted out by Hampus. As a tag hiding behind the orange box is getting Jacks instead. Now all up to Nico to ace clutch in this round with 28 points of HP. Already a player down for his own part. It's one step and a very long road back though. Uh, very clever here for NIP, peeking together, not really giving up any individual jewels. Fuzi coming through, out for those ramp players. No flashes or smokes to support those kind of moves. A counter smoke instead from the CT side. Let's take a bit of damage for it. Eh? Get away with a decent kill alongside Fuzi. And yeah, they'll lock out against the G2 side again. No Kevlar, full eco. Easy pickings. Put that smoke down towards CT spawn. G2 can just set themselves up to go for an AP. Perfect spray in for Alexi, catching Fuzi, and G2 will gain sight access. This might already be a save call for NIP, although they've got to consider going for the retake, considering the severe deficit they've got to try and bring back from here. Damage being done to Hunter, at least the 26 points of HP. With weaker weapons on the retake, they've lost an M4. The mask getting reloaded, Rez taking some damage as well, so it continues to get worse and worse for the NIP retake as Rez will fall through the wall bank to Hunter. Another kill to add to his tally, 24 deep in this matchup. Smoke's going down. They'll try to get to the site, try to hold under the defuse. It's Jack's watching for the flank in case, but no, they're all committing. S attack next to drop. Plopsky and Hampus can't combine, get away with a couple of decent kills, but not enough to hold off the T side line. 14 for now. But only a couple of M4s coming out forward and wrap the corner already for Alexi B. Going to press the issue and catch off Plopsky. Kick things off on the right foot. Molotov's going down. That's a tag with the Deagle. Going to hold off against them all. Molotov's the way even he's on low HP. Hampus now dead. Does give an M4 back to his teammate, but definitely would have been a better player here. Gone such little HP. Again, he's going to go falling so effectively. Five versus two. G2 in full control. Fuzi getting jacks at least. But this will not be a retake, especially with Rez now falling. No, not at all. And just look at the precision. 11 for NIP to make up once again. This time to get to OT to try and hold on to survival in this matchup, let alone take it away from G2. That's a whole other story in of its own right. You definitely wish they played like that during this week, certainly. They were uh, alongside NIP as being the two top teams you would have expected to go ham in this group, the two top teams you would have expected to dominate that first place position. It's Fuzi. Getting away with at least one good pick back for the NIP side, but the trades from Nico and Alexi still hold on to the man advantage for G2. Nades onto his position as well towards Sandbags. Pressing one entryway to the site. NIP will have to focus wholeheartedly on the retake. No choice but to commit towards it here. G2 getting that bomb up here from Monacy. Nades up, Fuzi's dead. Bomb plant will go down 40 seconds now. For G2 to take the first map away. NIP's own map pick. Smoke's going down. Suppressing another CT player. He's the player with the pistol. Plopsky with the rifle. The Famas versus them all. Does get Monacy at least. There's so much more to find as he wraps in. S tag will fall. And Jax will close it out with a triple. And a 16-4 map win. A quick map win for G2. Ah, shell shocked, really. When we think about the losses that NIP have taken. Two maps they have dropped this entire event. Coming into the best of three. And defensively playing out this A site. Three players here. Rez trying to get into the graveyard. S tag here in the info at long. Smokes down, taps for Vanessa Tag. Let's get away with a decent kill on towards Nico. That's a decent opening, but unable to find anything more here. The taps on from Jax. We'll spot out Rez as Fuzi gets his trades in, but Jax doubles up and breaks open the A site. There's a player out towards Pit that will try and hold on. Fuzi will be able to trade. Monacy as Jax will end up falling, and Alexi is alone towards clutching. He'll tap on to the player at Mini Pit, but Plopsky is going to overwhelm him with the pistol round for NIP. Third player's on the way in. Hampus with the M4 suppressed behind the smoke over his CT. Plopsky's gonna burn. That's a tag. He's gonna let him burn down as well. Try hold the bait and switch. Look for Alexi B getting all important kill as a player. That's already in the sight though. Jack to the Deagle can trade the man. So a four versus three. Firing through the smoke. Hampus charges forward but doesn't get the kill shot on Monacy. A single point of damage done but eventually gets him through the smoke. Yeah, not a lot of util for NIP to work with. Flash over the top. Hampus is looking for another pick to come through from the coffin's angle. 
he sprays manically against Nico. Eventually, we'll find that kill. Fuzi actually steals it away from the CT cross. That smoke has finally cleared. And now Hunter and Jack stand alone. One player at the Shire, one player at Dark. Dark has been tagged to 60 HP. One smoke down in from this banana control. And Hunter will strike back on the first player. Hampus and Fuzi working in. And Hunter makes it a double. On for the triple. Once again, a multi frag round for him. Continuing his performance from Vertigo all the way into Inferno. You can see the way that Jax is uncomfortable in that dark position. Doesn't have a lot of room to work with, but Hunter being able to utilize that space in the grill position ends up with a triple. Preparing for an execution, whatever they can muster here. Smokes down from our spray. Possibly not quite that fantastic. The AK breath tag, though. Good for two, not quite for three. Fuzi's at least able to trade Hunter through the smoke, and Nico will just sneak the bomb plant in here with a 1v4 and three points of HP. He won't last long, not even against Fuzi, the first man into the site. Walk forward with Fuzi and the Molotov in. Great shot as well for the man. Not quite a connection to the second. The leg shot will come down. Essa tag will lead in against Nico instead. Not capitalizing on the easy kill and overextending to lose his own life. A 4v2 now. Yeah, that's unfortunate because that would have been combed over. He's low. Swing for the pick to bring it back into the 3v3. What they don't know is the AWP is posted and also they don't know the hampers is here. Spray through, catches one, swing on a second, and everything gets Hunter to return. Rez with a decent tap to the head, and the bomb being dropped in his presence. A 1v1, Alexi on 16 points of HP has got to play the patient game. Rez adjusting to pit over at the broken wall. I set to the site, trying to look in from short, 22 the clock. And the lead is going to spot Alexi, take the kill shot, and take the clutch to win the round for NIP. Might have seen out spotted by Hampers that should give the ghost up on what's going on here with this play. Can't get a kill for it, and they won't commit to a full-on rotation. Manasi gonna abuse that CT smoke down to the apartments. Try to drop in from the Keo position. Jax gets caught for it. Manasi able to get a couple of deagle shots in, though. Go back for that bomb and get it planted. 2v2. Concern will be HP and the Kevlar lacking there for an eco still gets dealt with with Manasi in the one versus two. Deagle pulled out, spots them both, desperate to tap onto their heads. Needs to hit these shots perfectly, but it's not perfect for him. Klotsky closes the round, NIP will take damage with their fifth. Nade to his position. Doesn't quite land the kill shot. Plopski will try and look for it regardless. Aggressive ahead of the smoke. Spots Nico sprays. Transfers to Manasi blind and almost gets him the same. Taking banana without losing casualties is a difficult factor for them right now. Molly goes out towards the sandbags, try and draw some of those positions out to the open. Jax really decimating to try and get a fight forward. Deals with Essa tag. Plopski's fallen back low on HP, but has still been alive. Needs that backup to come in though. Fuzi with a lack of firepower. Jackson and the numbers on HP line. Plopski and Eero's footsteps to refire it. Spring on Monacy, make it a quadra. Try to get his own ace here in this matchup. But it's Fuzi to steal it away instead. For Mars out ahead of the site. Smokes down, suppress one individual, the AWP of Fuzi will get flashed off. Instead, it's Rez to line up those two kills on Jackson. Alexi try to look for the triple. That's what he gets, even the quadra against Monacy. And the whole round falls down for G2. Nico in a 1v4, and they're hunting for the kill as well. You know, wonderful stuff. Looking for this CT half victory. You mentioned how important it would be for them. It felt a little bit iffy at the start. It's Rez to close down that ace. The second ace of the matchup going the way of NIP this time. To try and hold defense. That bomb will get picked up. Hunter is lurking in from long, but as he gets picked up by Fuzi, that should call in the info. Is the rotation going to be quick enough back here for an IP? 20 seconds. Alexi spotted by Esatai. Gets his kill. And now they will get that second player in with an incendiary down at the right moment. Hampus will fall. Time still ticking. Now Esatai got a look up high towards that boost. Nico can overwhelm. A 2v2. The bomb's getting planted. The retake is on for NIP. Or is it? Big gap. Shot doesn't connect. Monacy trades it. And now it's Rez to clutch. It begins slowly, Manasi's back turned, but covered off by the coffins. Nico out towards the new box, and Manasi spots his man. Rez tanking the damage, looking for the headshot desperately, but Manasi says, no, I want a double kill. That's exactly what I'll get, a fifth round for G2 as well. And Nico getting flashed over, pressure building. They might try and refight this. Plomsky over aggressive, gets dealt with by Nico, and now for Esatag, he's got to buy some time to allow that rotation from Fuzi. Yeah, evaded the flash entirely, was not blind. The kill comes in easy. He follows up through the smoke on Essa Tag and all. Just at the CT cross now, the Orpa of Fuzi with everything to do. G2 is storming his B site. Nico's leading the charge. Finally, a decent shot comes back as he leans further forward. Hampus will fall towards the A site. Alexi cleans up the Orpa and the M4 is in a 1v4, which he just cannot win. Jax to close it out. 8 7 at the turn of the half. G2 might not have held the confidence that it did over on Vertigo.
We tried this in the previous half there in that last round. NIP pulled the bait and switch. Uh, uh, sorry, G2 pulled the bait and switch against NIP when they were on the T side. Harvey's Hunter that kicks things off out on the other side of the map. Munasi at least one decent kill. Alexi falls back into the back of B. This is a 3v3 for the time being. He stands alone, but Jax is coming in for the backstab. That bomb's going to try and commit. Alexi, what can you do from this position? It's finding an engagement for Jax to land another great headshot for him in the pistol basis. Plopsky also falls, and it's Fuzi. Now he's the man alone. A one versus three scenario with the bomb being being dropped in the back lines of that B-side, and surely the next peak will be his last. And once they've got that mid-aggression, Alexi's just not peeking. Knows he has to stay alive out from the new box because Jax has got the wrap, and Fuzi's now the last one that gets peeked in by Jax. A great wraparound play coming in. Back out towards long just in case it's NIP that start their positions. Oh, then move in from brackets. Scout shot, just connect towards the first. Eventually get the kill towards Rez and tap forward on Hampus as well. Beautiful. The money shot, if you will. And looking for a triple all and all here against Fuzi. The bomb should be dropped pretty effectively. A scout no scope even lands. What a round that was. An eco rush that went fully the way of the G2 side. They rotate for the A hit, it seems. Even though that pick comes through as a response, it doesn't break away the setup. Three players up onto A and NIP are running into the trap. Smoke ahead of Hunter. I don't even think it landed, actually. He gets away with a kill on towards Rez, face on the second man, and drops in the same. Fuzi needs to double up, and he only gets one frag. Essa tag now. The bomb being dropped in over a bracket. He's not aware of the player off, and Keo gets Jax at the very least, adjusting towards the man, but can't transfer to Munasi. That bomb will get picked up in the two CTs. Up a banana will start the rotations. Essa tag caught in the shoulder. Munasi somehow stays alive against Plopsky. Can't hit that second shot and won't get a chance at the third. A trade finally found at a four versus four. And they have their heart set towards the A site as they continue to push in. Jax backed up over at the pit position. The smoke goes down. The engagement comes in. The damage has been done as well. Meanwhile, Hunter on the site holds on to a kill. Jax makes it a double. And Rez now spotted out with the AWP. A 1v4 clutch. Gets that first pick. Can't see that second player. Knows he's somewhere on the site. But where is the big question? He can't find the angle. And he most certainly won't find the kill. Hunter catches him looking the wrong way. The burst fire of Nico down into that uh, banana smoke. Top of the broken wall now. Spot spray, kill found on two and three. Easy mop up for the quadra overall. You're at that situation now where it's last chance saloon. It's getting ever so close to it. Hunter, look at the aggression. Down from mid, Rez has got no idea. The M4 is going to be out of strike. And he's even got a teammate of Modesty to peek with him. Leg shot on Plopsky, caught off guard, jumping in the middle of the air. Jax at least makes a mistake against Essa Tag, but Monacy able to close out against Plopsky. He's aware that Essa Tag pressing forward. Hunter doing the exact same thing on the other side of the map. Ahead of Banana through the smokes. Fuzi caught Monacy, lightning fast reactions. Doesn't get the kill towards it. We'll still look up towards top mid and connect that shot on Hampus instead. It's a lockdown round for G2 as Essa Tag stands in the clutch and surely he doesn't win this. Uh, players everywhere coming in from spawn, bottom of banana, out into the apartments. Essa Tag is just hoping that he can isolate some of these individual jewels. Alexi playing out from library catches him off. And similar characteristics to a lobby crunch on Nuke. Yeah, pretty fair against Plopsky in particular. G2 now looking just to lock down the defensive of the smoke start coming in for the T side line execution set. Rez spotted and sprayed by Alexi B. Plopsky there with a decent trade back of his own hunter. He can get himself a triple and it will be a 15 to 8 for G2 now on map and match point. When it comes to the initial side defensive and for NIP, even taking some of this banana control, they have to deal with the ore. Oh, what a shot for Monacy. So well timed against Rez, full blinded, still found the kill. One out of four required. Nico is going to get a second. Trades in for Plopsky and Essa Tag, but Alexi B gets involved in the mix. So a three on two for G2. That bomb still get, needs to get picked up back at T-Stairs. And Monacy could cut off the uh, carrier here. Looks on to the mana just back and forth and doubles up. That could be match winning. Essa Tag now on for the clutch. Try to flash his way back into Banana. A second flash. Monacy is caught blinded and will miss the shot this time. A re-smoke goes down. Essa Tag ready for the swing. Spray blinded, knife pulled out, Monacy at point blank, missing his shots all the same, and somehow Essa Tag escapes with the kill and should get the bomb down. He's up against two. Now Hunter and Jackson come quickly out from that banana position, hearing that bomb go down. Essa Tag's got a fight. Didn't spot the man. Coughing to wait. 
Jax ready with you till Hunter spotted now. Engagement, Etta Tag isolating these fights. Three kills to his name. Needs to win the Quadra to try and hold this together. Try and keep NIP alive. He's playing behind the smoke and Jax has no idea. Taps it and Etta Tag just sprays the hero for the ninjas as they continue to fight for their lives. And they back up towards Banana, lands pretty close to center of mass. And Plopsky tanks the damage, the orb for Monacy, ready for the shot, and he doesn't miss. Uh, you've just, uh, what else can you do there? You're trying to jiggle peek, you're trying to get a flash over the top, Monacy. Oh my god, recovered by Plopsky. The other two starting to peek in towards Long, Monacy back to receive them. This is that shot, gets away with the nade. And they look down through the smokes, blind firing, hoping he can catch Esther Tag in the cubby corner. The flash goes over, he turns away from it, he connects that next shot. Two to his name, two more to go. Jack to turn around, flanks involved. Plopsky comes up with his own counter flank, needs to get that bomb down here. Up against two, can he clutch this time? Hunter, quick to the side, round of the corner. He's in here, he's tried to force him out. The spray's not good enough. And G2 will close it. A 16 10 on map two, a 2 0 series victory that stuns NIP. They will remain in the top start of the group but that is a statement to set in for G2. Yeah, it absolutely is. What a much better performance coming through from G2, but it was from the outset alone on their opposition's map pick. Of